So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing extremely well. And this is your very own mass code at this side. So today we are going to solve reverse bits, right? It is a simple problem and let us just get a look uh, how we will solve it, right? So the problem says reverse bit. The problem says that you have been provided with a number. Let's suppose the number given to you is five, right? What is the binary form of five? It is one zero one, right? It is represented as one zero one. But if I write all the 32 bits, it will be something like 101 and all the remaining are 0. So this will be my enlarged form of 5, right? All the bits are zeros except for the last three which are representing 101. This is my 5 in the binary form as represented in the CPUs, right? In the memory storage. Now the question says I have to consider this as a string. Okay, consider this as a string. Reverse it. So if I reverse it, the string will become 101 one. after that, right? This will be the string after reversing, right? Okay. Now the question says, consider this as a binary representation of a number and tell me the number and tell me the number. So what you will do, you will construct this string and see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So the answer will be 2 to the power 31 plus 2 to the power 29. That will be 2 to the power 29 multiplied by uh, 2 square. That is 4 plus 1. That is 5. 5 into 2 to the power 29. Right? This will be my answer. You can solve 2 to the power 29 that will be easy in the C++ right you can use the power function right but did you understand what you have to do we have to see 5 it is represented as this like it is not a string but we will convert it th this into the string reverse that string and then follow the answer and then follow the answer right now the approach right obviously you are here for the approach you would not like to see the question only but you will try to see the approach also right so when I got 5, when I got this representation, can I obtain S? That is, can I convert this into the string form? Yes, that is actually very possible and I have been doing that from the past few days. The questions were, for, were of binary manipulation and we have done that. But still, let us see how. How can we do that in detail? Right. So what I will do, I know the number is 32 bits. The number is 32 bits, right, from 0 till 31. So I will move my loop. From 0 up till 31 and what I will do I will take my string s as an empty string right now if this number represent uh, uh, suppose this is a number not a string right and I have got one in my hand how can I find this one and this one rest all other are zeros right so this is position 0 this is position 1 this is position 2 right right so the left shift operator will come in our hands right what will left shift operator do Please, please, please try to uh, try to play, uh, pay keen understanding because I was able to observe in the comment section that previously some of you were not able to understand what is the use of this operator, right? So this operator actually, if I use this as one zero, it remains as one, but this changes this to this. That is the representation of one is actually getting uh, left shifted and zero is getting added. So this number actually becomes two. Similarly, if I use this, it will change it will change it to 100 zero zero, and my binary representation will, uh, will represent the decimal number 4. Similarly, then 8, then 16, etc. etc. Right? Okay. So can I use that information for my answer? So I will say that if at this position, at the zeroth position, if this will represent will return me 1 only, right? If I put a 1 here and take the and of operation, because if I put this one here, all other uh, bits are 0 for the given number right for the 1 right so if I take and of these two numbers will I get 1 will I get 1 yes I will get 1 how will I get 1 this one and this one gives me an and of 1 and rest other will give me an and of 0 0 0 0 0 etc right so if this bit is 1 then its and with this will give me 1 so I will use that information I will say if let's say, let us say the number is n so if n bitwise and with one left shifted by i positions 
right if one left to by equation if this is true then s plus equals to one else if this is not true s plus equals to zero so what will happen first we tried for this we answered one our string contained one now now we got to this position that is one and we answered zero so if i can if i put a one here and take an and is this possible to get one no one and zero will give me an and of zero so it will return me zero now i i move my and here and i see one one again one again one for all others it will be zero 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 right again it will be zero 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 now is s plus equals to correct or i do have to do s equals to one plus s tell me is this correct or this correct so let us see what is actually happening so our number is so our number is this right and now if i move this to zero position for one uh, left shift by zero it will come here right if it, it will come here and i will add it so my string becomes one now okay after that it becomes zero and my one becomes here i have to add this zero to the left of it to the to the this position right i have to add zero to the this this position so i am actually adding zero to the this position so this is correct this is wrong i will say s equals to one plus s and s equals to zero plus s right and this for loop and this will be getting cut and this for loop will actually provide me with a string of the binary representation of the given number right so s now contains binary representation of the given number are we on the same page guys are we on the same page okay i believe i do okay i believe you are on the same page and don't have any confusion left right so what did what have we done we have just used a for loop to get the string of the binary representation now my string is 0 0 0 0 etc 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 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 right and total are 32 bits now i have to see ethically i have to reverse it and then calculate the answer right but 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 in this string see while converting this into the string this was left shifted by zero this was left shifted by two positions right but in the string manipulation if you see this is zeroth bit this is first bit this is second bit in the string string, string in the string form because these are indexes now so zero index one index second index now moving up till so it is 31st index and it is 29th index and if i scroll above and see what will be my answer it will be 2 to about 31 plus 2 to about 29 can i say i have got my answer can i say i've got my answer because i've got the set bits at 229 position 31 position i needed that only so what i will say i will say long long answer equals to zero okay now for i going from zero up till 31 going from zero up till 31 if s of i equals to equals to one that is the bit is set what will i do i will say answer plus equals to now answer is an integer type something like long long type something right numeric value i will use the power function and i will say to the power i that is simply what i have to do and after this loop i will do the most important step of returning answer because that is the worth of doing everything right okay so let me explain you what did we do we first created the string we first created the string using the number given to us and then just we just run the loop and see if it is a set bit then answer to add okay so let us now look at the code so before coding as usual a normal practice if you have not subscribed to my channel do subscribe it and please connect with me on the linkedin instagram etc etc right okay so string s is an empty string right currently right then for int i going from 0 up till 31 i plus plus if x and 1 left shifted by i positions that is okay so s equals to now adding 1 first and then add that is appending 1 to the uh, first of s else add 0 Also, it will be single quotes, guys. Right? And after that, our answer will become long, long answer initialized by 0. And then for 
in tie going from 0 up till 31 i plus plus answer plus if s of i equals to equals to 1 that is a set bit, set bit is present there answer plus equals to power of 2 to the power i 2 to the power i and the answer should run fine and we will just return the answer return answer. let us try to compile and run it in the meantime if you're new here do not forget to subscribe and submit and submit okay and like the video if you have understood the concept so you can see all the test cases passed eight days geek bonus and we are we're getting close to 500 coins now anytime and i will definitely try to buy a hoodie now so okay 120 day streak thank you guys for watching and have a nice day bye